Hi folks, welcome to OnlineLessonVideos.com. I'm Ian Walsh. Today we're working on a tune that has two parts and has a big key change in it, which is a lot of fun. Personally, one of my favorite key changes too. Uh, the first part's in the key of D, second part, we jump up into the key of A. Um, it's a nice change. D is great on the fiddle. You have your open D and A string, and you have your open A and E string for the key of A. So those two keys work really well for the fiddle. Uh, let's get into it. I'm going to play, play it through for you, a little sample, and then we'll get into the lesson. Let's go with the Forked Deer. Okay, let's get started. I'm going to show you that little intro I did before the tune uh, even starts. So leading up to it, it's a shuffle bow pattern that uh, some people call taters. And we're going to play a little double stop, two strings with a little bit of a slide on the F sharp. Here's what it looks like. Here's the notes. You have a D on the A string and an F sharp on the E string. And you can hold this down as a double stop and uh, you can move this bottom finger, your index, or your forefinger there, your first one, this guy, and slide it up there to get a nice little, uh, kind of a country sound. It's gonna look like this. Okay, I'm trying to move my middle finger out of there so you can see a bit better. So the way I count this in for the uh, beginning of the tune, there's two clicks before the uh, before the uh, four eighth note clicks, and it goes one, two, okay, just like that, just one of them. Um, for practice purposes, just spend some time going over that, maybe starting off slow and speeding it up until you get a nice um, kind of a liquid bow shuffle there. Alright, so this tune starts off with a triplet on the A string. We play this. Okay, that D is actually the downbeat. So we just start off with one bow, like that. All your notes there on the A string, A, B, C, D. You have a little rest after that D quarter note, and we play D. Let me go through that again, a little bit slower. One, two, three. One, two, three. And one more time. One, two, three. Okay. And there's that D quarter note, as you start playing this a bunch, you might start leaving that out and just treating it as an eighth note and connecting it with an open E. So it would look like this. One more time, connecting that with an open E. One, two, three. Okay. 
Okay, now let's count it in and let's put in the taters. So this count's gonna be a little bit different. It'll go like this. One, two. And what I did right there was make a very common mistake. You need to, what I should have done is counted that out much slower. Those taters, that was a very fast tater or intro. Um, if you find yourself in that position where you've started off a tune like that, you're gonna have to stick with it and just play it at speed. But we wanna play, let's work backwards here. We wanna play. So we wanna play about that speed. So I'll count us into there. Here we go. One, two. Okay, and that D is gonna start off our next little measure of uh, the fork of deer.